Hi, this is Adam Kunzmiller with BGG TV at Gen Con 2015, and I'm joined by Isaac Epp from Breaking Games, and we're here to talk about Boomtown Bandits. That's correct. So, in Boomtown Bandits, each player is in charge of a little bandit camp. So just grab one of these colors here. You can grab any one you want. Yellow is Yellow clearly works. the right choice. <laughs> clearly the right choice. <laughs> Uh, it'll make even more sense to you in just a moment. So, all right, so we've got a, in your bandit camp, you have two shooters and you have a coward. And you'll note that the shooters go along with these full color dice. Okay. All right, and you have two bullets on your shooters. So you have a two and six chance of getting a hit and no chance of running away. So they're pretty good at their job. Then you have a coward. He's a little less good at his job. <laughs> so he has a one in six chance of getting a hit, but he also has a one in six chance of getting a runaway. Right. Right, because he's a coward. And so at the beginning of each round, the first player will grab this marshal badge and they'll pop it on one of these locations and that's tipped off the law so nobody will go there for that round. Okay. And then they will take their tokens face down and ah. secret to everybody but themselves. Indicate where these guys are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they pop down one at a time at a location. And so if we go around and say everybody's popped around all these locations, we've ended up a little bit something like this. Then we start and we flip them all over. And we see what the lay of the land is. And then we have some shootouts. All right. So we start over here and we're gonna work our way across. And we don't have a fight here because the law was already there, so they tip that all off. But then we do have a shootout here. Since I have a coward, I grab my coward die. Mm -hmm. And I have a shooter, so I grab my shooter die. I have a shooter. You have one shooter and, and they grab their shooter. shooter. Okay. And so then on the count of three, we have three, two, one, shoot. And we'd start rolling as fast as we can, real time, until somebody gets a symbol like this and says, hit. So what happens when they get a hit? That stops the action. And that means that somebody is dead. <laughs> and so I got the hit, so I get to say who is dead. I'll say red is dead. That was very convenient of you. <laughs> and so then we would say, three, two, hit. one. And say, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Should have waited for the three, two, one, I That's suppose. That's right, it'll count. And so then you'd get to kill one of my guys, assume it's one of those. And we'd start rolling until we're down to one player. All right. And that would mean you get to loot. Nice. Loot's awesome. So loot has money, which is great. It also has an action. So it joins your hand and you can play it any time after you've gotten it. The money is important because it's how you win the game. The most money wins. Mm -hmm. It's the most original thing in the game I know about. Then you get an action. You can play that action once. Whether you played it or kept it in your hand, the money always counts. So okay, you don't so you don't lose it by playing. No. And an action is based off the theme of where you looted that from. So in this case, you're at the saloon, and the coward loves the saloon. He gets a little tipsy. He's a little less cowardly. Liquid like courage in him. Liquid courage helps him out. Nice. So then he acts like a shooter, and he's a little less scared. Um, moving over to the stagecoach, you can collect guns, so to help you out in those shootouts, and you also get some money. The brothel, you get some money. You can also screw over your friends. Ah, so and these symbols are kind of telling you what you, what you can expect to see in these uh, it's a in the loot hint. cards. Yeah, right. exactly. I like the screw over your friends yeah. symbol. <laughs> So the mine, that's the highest single payout of any of the locations, but it also has some risk. So you could fall down a mine shaft and lose a little bit. So you have to bear witness and eh, be a little careful. It plays up to five players, it's two to five. And if you have a full five players, we would flip over that last tile too and include in the bank. Now is it possible that I could have, you know, two people left and be the last man standing? And does anything happen then? So if you loot a location, it just means you're the last person there. So regardless okay. of how many tokens there, you get to loot it. it. So in this particular case, unless someone had cards that move you around, which does happen, sure. then these guys would be able to loot it straight up without a fight. Awesome. Uh, so it doesn't happen all that often. Right. <laughs> um, the game ends when any one of these stacks is empty. There's seven in each stack. Mm -hmm. So the game lasts about a half hour. Um, and then once you've played all your actions and you've played all your money and we've made it through all of that, we also have bonus cards. So there's one that's a little bit different than the others, and it's called Own This Town. And in Own This Town, you've acquired one loot from each location that's available. The first person to have done that and to say, I own this town, I own this town. they get that bonus. Uh, the rest oh, of they them, actually just go fish it out? Yeah, that's it. Gotcha. You get it in the middle of the game. Um, the rest of them are all awarded at the end, and there's one per location. So you have things like from the saloon, like the drunk, uh, the regular over here at the brothel, frequent rider at the train, and so on. The train's over here. Um, and then you, so you add up all of your loot cards, you add up all the bonuses. Whoever got the most money wins. Mm -hmm. They're the baddest bandit of them all. That's Great. Boomtown Bandits. So it seems like uh, it moves at a pretty good pace. How long does it typically take? About a half hour. Um, two player is maybe a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, five player is, runs three or four minutes longer, but it's basically 40, uh, 30 minutes. And what's this, uh, this? I'm so glad you asked. Whiskey token for? Yeah, so first player whiskey is how we determine who goes first. So you take this, spin, spin the, the bottle. Whiskey. 
Why don't you spin the bottle? All there right. you go. So you would be first player. So you'd be able to take that token. And I'd say, you know, pop it on a location, there. shut it down, and you'd start placing your tokens when we move around. Great. That's it. Very cool. Well, yeah, that's that's great. So uh, that was Boomtown Bandits.